Hi, good morning. Um, I'm Pleasance from Little Om Yoga, and I recently taught a workshop um, for a group of moms in our neighborhood, uh, a wonderful weekly mothers group. And I promised that I would create a little video um, with a few of the techniques that we that I taught and that I love to cover for moms, for especially busy moms, um, related to breathing and centering and grounding that you can kind of use at any time. So I previously recorded a video um, around making space in our head, neck, and shoulders um, and moving through 10 movements. You can go side to side. So look back on the Little Ohm YouTube page for that one if you're interested in that. And let's actually start, um, let's start with a grounding meditation. I'm going to move back a little bit so you can see um, my hands. And for this one, um, you're going to tap the fingertips while reciting um, a seed mantra. Uh, this is really good to also teach children, um, two-year-olds, three-year-olds, four-year-olds, um, the six, seven, and eight-year-olds love this as well. So just start by taking a deep breath in, and your hands can actually rest onto your lap, but just because of how this is recording, you can't quite see that, so I'll lift my hands up. But for this one, close your eyes and take a deep breath in, and then you'll just tap each finger as you move through the sounds. sa ta na ma 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 and then whisper sa ta na ma and say it in your head to yourself two times So that's one technique you can use if you're feeling really anxious. Just helps drop in using the vibration of sound and again using our fingers to tap and ground ourselves and bring our energy down. So another practice that you can do um, that is very easy um, at any time. You can do it in the car before drop off. I'm going to scoot back a little bit so you can see. So I practice um, Zen Buddhist meditation and for that meditation it's the uh, mantra sorry the mudra that we use for our hands is right hand down left hand on top and then thumbs to touch and it creates that nice little circle shape um, which represents sort of the whole universe um, it represents everything that's in a uh, relationship is seasons of life um, everything about our world being sort of um, you know, repeating patterns and, and rhythms, um, and that we're holding the whole universe right here at our core, um, right here in our own laps, okay? So that's what this mudra represents, right hand down, left hand on top, thumbs to touch, sit up nice and tall. And here, again, this is one you can use just right in your car before, uh, Pickups if you have a few minutes or sitting at your dining room table. You can sit at the edge of your bed. I'm sitting on my little, um, can you see this? My little <laughs> um, balance ball. And from here we just breathe. So it's just a breathing in for one, out for two, in for three, out for four in for five, out for six, and you can have your eyes open or close, in for seven, out eight, in for nine, and out for ten. And then you just repeat that a few times. Again, just focusing on your breath, grounding through the hands, and just following your breath as you inhale up, counting for one, and exhaling, counting for two. Okay, the third one I'm going to show you today is just a very simple, this is called the self-compassion mudra. Um, Kristen Neff does a lot of work. I think there's, um, she has a book and she has wonderful online resources. Um, I think it's called selfcompassion.org, but you can look her up, Kristen Neff. 
And one thing that she taught me when I was in a workshop with her was about how powerful just really intentionally placing our hands right in our heart and breathing right into the center of our chest, feeling that warmth, feeling that connection, adding some pressure right to the center of your chest, how deeply powerful this can be, especially in those crazy moments when we're feeling completely overwhelmed or all the kids are screaming or we're making dinner and someone's crying and something's burning. I tend to burn dinner all the time, so I'm very familiar with that kind of chaotic scene. And so when your narrative, your personal narrative and your self-talk starts to get really negative, it can be a real gift to yourself to just stop, pause, place your hands over your heart and take three deep breaths right into the center of your chest. Again, kind of dropping your chin so that your spine is nice and long. I like to do a nice, big, long, open mouth exhale there, really releasing the tension of the jaw, the head, neck, and shoulders. Eyes open or closed. Last one. Good. I feel better already. So there's three quick things that you can do. Sata Nama, counting your breath with a mudra, and then self-compassion mudra, just placing your hands on your heart. I hope these help, and if you have any questions, feel free to email me, info at littleom, I-N-F-O, at littleom.com, and let me know how these work for you. Thanks. Namaste.